Welcome to Think Aviculture, where we're here and our videos are dedicated to providing education information on raising, breeding exotic birds. Now, we also want to inspire the next generation of avicultures, and we're looking forward for you to be a subscriber. So, let's get right down to our next video. Hi, I'm Roderick Martin, and today in this video, I'm just gonna do a quick overview of our zebra finch uh, breeding aviary, and where we breed zebra finches for the pet trade, and we provide uh, birds to some of the smaller pet stores, uh, and also the public and people that are interested in breeding zebra finches contact us all the time about getting birds shipped to them. I'm gonna show you some details about our zebra finches, how we set them up, uh, what do we expect from them, uh, and a little bit about caring. I won't get into a lot of details, but in some of our future videos, I'll share with you uh, how you can set up zebra finches in your own backyard, uh, what you can do to take care of them, the right housing, and what you can expect as an aviculture is raising birds uh, to go ahead and send to pet stores or other places. This is what we're about here on this channel is teaching you the business of aviculture. And, and I think it's a wonderful thing. So let me share with you some of the things that we do. As you can see here, this is our uh, zebra finch aviary. Uh, in here, this, this particular cage unit or, or aviary unit, breeding pen is what you wanna call it. It's about a six by eight breeding pen. Um, and basically, uh, the wiring at the top to, to provide ventilation. Of course, the door wiring provide ventilation. But in here, we have over about 100 zebra finches, which is about 50 pairs of males and females. And so this is what we consider a colony breeding. Uh, and so we have probably about 60 maybe 58, 60 nest boxes. Having an overabundance of nest boxes will keep the birds from fighting over the nest boxes. And that's something that you don't want in a breeding colony. And especially when it comes down to the aggressive nature of some of these birds can get uh, when it gets down to a real estate space or the space that they want to call home, okay? And so, in here, as you can see, we, we do this economically because we do take these boxes out uh, after each breeding and really they're all disposable because they're just made of cardboard boxes. Uh, we, we order these boxes and I'll get into another video sharing with you where we get these boxes, how we set them up, the dimensions, and how you too can have a cost savings. I mean, when you think about it, these boxes cost us around 30 to 60 cents a box versus spending eight to ten dollars uh, per box and now you got six hundred dollars for 60 boxes in here and we got well into probably less than 30 bucks or 20 bucks uh, into these boxes and so it's a wonderful way of doing that and we'll share a lot of these breeding setup techniques in future videos that's coming up about the fences in, the, in this particular situation these fences uh, produce probably about 50 uh, babies per month 50 to about 70 babies per month uh, and so we have several of these pens like that and so uh, we're able to take the babies out put them in a different holding pen where we allow them to mature a little better before we uh, ship them out to their pet stores uh, that we ship out to and so finches are great birds but one of the things about it you got to make sure you provide the necessary uh, nourishments for them uh, we have a uh, particular type of finch blend that we mix here as you can see uh, what we do here and one of, we, we mix a, a golden millet uh, with also some parakeet uh, seed finch seeds and, and different other type seeds to to give it a roundabout nutrition and then oftentimes we'll we'll, we'll place eggs you know, hard boiled eggs and then vegetables uh, in here once a week and, and, and that kind of gives them some other nutrition as well. And so with that being said, um, you know, of course you can tell the male from the female finch, uh, you got the males, which you're gonna see the patches uh, and then of course the females. Now, one of the things about finches, they have a real 
uh, high metabolism. And so you have to really make sure that you keep food in here in abundance because I mean, their metabolism is burning, burning, burning because they're so fast. Uh, and the minute they go a day or even a day and a half without food, then it's not good for them. And, and, and tragically, you'll start finding uh, some finches that won't survive because of just the, so the high metabolism. We do kind of treat our water with uh, different types of electrolytes to give them vitamins as well. In the future, we're going to do some other videos where I'll show you exactly the money side of it. In other words, the cost that it costs to maintain something like this. But you can put one of these aviaries in your garage, in your backyard. You can uh, build the space uh, and, 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 and really uh, take care of these birds to a point to where uh, you can kind of uh, not only make money to feed them to be able to take care of them, but have a little extra if you want to, uh, you know, just set some up for the family or whatever. Now that's in this particular capacity, but we actually have a video that I put together on the numbers and cents on breeding zebra finches and what you can expect uh, in a return, what you're going to spend in different areas. And so look for that future video. But I just want to kind of share with you uh, what we have here. So I want you to stay tuned to some of our other videos, uh, cockatiel breeding, lovebird breeding, uh, some of our interviews with some of our other bigger breeders that breed parrots and, and bigger birds. Um, and also comment, but definitely subscribe and share. This is a new channel and we're hoping that what the, the directive or the narrative that we're taking, sharing people inside how to become aviculturists. Uh, breeding birds as opposed to saying, okay, here's my bird Petey and I'm just going to show you my daily routine with Petey. We'll show you inside the Avery's talk about all the things that it takes to run a uh, bird breeding business. And that's one of the things that we're focus on here. So again, looking forward to serving you. Thank you for coming to Think Aviculture, inspiring the next generation of aviculturists here. <laughs>